I'm Jeff Alpin, The Big Game Hunter, the head coach for NoBSCoachingAdvice.com and JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. And games, you know, a lot of what we do professionally is kind of like a game, except we don't see it as a game. It's work. It's stuff we've got to do. You know, it's tedium. It's a pain in the you-know-where. And when I was young, and I was with my friends in the Bronx, Bronx, New York, not too far from Yankee Stadium, when we played, let me try that again, when we played a game, we knew who won, we knew who lost. Like, for example, you're playing softball, nine innings. Team that had the most runs on the board won. Basketball, much the same thing. 48 minutes later, the the team that had the most points on the board won the game. Often, you know, in my life, I'm playing what has been described as an infinite game. It goes on forever. There's no way of knowing who, when, when victory occurs, because even if I suddenly proclaim, I did great, I had a great month, well, there's, and I'm thinking about when I worked in recruiting and did sales and, you know, the great month had the next month and someone else might win that month and the month after that and the month after that. The game goes on forever. And it's one of the reasons why, you know, frankly, many of us get exhausted. And I'm wondering where you can set up a period of time where you're playing your game for. So, for example, uh, if I were thinking about stopping smoking, which I did many years ago, or losing weight, which I've got to do now. What's the game that I'm playing? And how long does it last? And do I win that game if I get to that point? And what do I do that helps me win? How do we measure success here? Does everyone agree to these terms? Or does someone go, ah, 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 and basically do the equivalent of a finger wag, as I just did uh, to you? Infinite games are hard to feel satisfied with. And if you're leading a group, if you're part of a group, playing the infinite game is exhausting. There's no win that people feel unless you create a short-term game. Figure out where you can create victory, where you can see the win in your life. Celebrate that success. It feels good, doesn't it? We don't celebrate enough. And I'm telling you, if you create a little fun in the process of doing what you're doing, you will feel a lot better. So hope you found this helpful. I'm Jeff Alpin. If you're interested in my coaching, you connect with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash I N forward slash the big game hunter. Mention that you saw the video because I like knowing I'm helping some folks. Once we're connected, message me that you're interested in coaching. We'll set up time for a free discovery call. Have a great day. Take care.